Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm putting together a quick guide, simple, basic guide on how to start qualifying for Cosmos Airdrop. So you could call this a Cosmos Airdrops guide. I made a post the other day on X talking about um, claiming airdrops in the Cosmos and why I love the Cosmos ecosystem. We are having a mini airdrop season in Cosmos, so it's very exciting. And people are asking questions. People are messaging me. They want to know, Zen, how do you qualify for these airdrops? I want to receive airdrops too. So remember in this video, I'm not a financial advisor. I did not know if this is going to be worth your time or not, but we're going to be teaching you the basics of farming airdrops in Cosmos ecosystem. So um, the number one most common way to qualify for airdrops is staking a minimum of Atom, you know, between 25, 50 Atom tokens. Now it's very popular that Osmo stakers were also airdropped. So to get started, the two blue chips uh, of airdrops in Cosmos, in my opinion, would be staking Atom and Osmo. There's many more. There's many more tokens that receive airdrops. I give examples, Tia, Kuji, Corium, Juno, and many more tokens that you stake and you qualify for airdrops. In my opinion, I stake a minimum of almost all the high quality Cosmos gems because I am an airdrop farmer. And I do know that some of these airdrops could basically be worth dust. However, some of these airdrops are worth a good chunk of change. The Tia airdrop for those of the people that had the VPN set up was pretty, pretty massive. It's actually flipped Cosmos as far as market cap. And that was airdropped. Osmo was airdropped to Adam Stakers. Juno was airdropped. So a lot of these projects were airdropped to Atom stakers and a lot of people have no idea. They leave their Atom tokens on a centralized exchange or they simply aren't paying attention to the ecosystem. So they're not claiming these airdrops. After watching this video, you'll never look at the Cosmos ecosystem the same and you will always be on the hunt for an airdrop. So you get the most value from your uh, staking rewards. So for example, the Airdrop hunting has never been easier and safer in the Cosmos ecosystem because now you have a high quality team, Leap. This wasn't around back in the day. So you have Leap Wallet on their Explore page. If you click airdrops, and I'll leave this description, I'll leave this link in the description below. You could see all the airdrops that are currently claimable. And you do have to qualify and each of these claimable uh, airdrops have different qualifications. They have different minimums, different standards. So you have to really be paying attention to make sure that you qualify for these different airdrops. So I've already claimed a lot of these airdrops. There's two new ones that just popped up and I'm gonna show you the process of you know, the first steps. So for example, if I click this page, so these are all vetted. These are all vetted by the Leap Wallet team. So we know they're pretty safe. If I hit claim, it's gonna take me to their site. And I found the minimums. So I posted this in my Discord channel. So you need a minimum for this airdrop, you need a minimum of 50 Atom staked. So if you had 50 Atom staked at the time of the snapshot, I could go and see if I what I qualify for. So this is one of my Cosmos addresses. I'm gonna check. And I qualify, the total fair drop allocation is 96. So I qualify for 96. And they based it on a bunch of different criteria on this uh, atom staking thing. So in this situation, you need an atom. I qualify for 96. I'll be able to go connect my wallet and claim this airdrop now. So uh, there's also this one right here. So I could type my wallet in to check if I'm eligible for DYM tokens. And I have about 15 days to claim this. And boom, I'm eligible again. So now I could claim two different airdrops off staking Atom, which is pretty exciting. And this isn't the first. There's been many of these airdrops that have been happening all year. If you scroll through the Discord channel, you'll see a ton. I'm going to show this as an example for my next point. So staking Cosmos coins, and then not only staking those Cosmos coins, paying attention to the Cosmos, to the updates in your ecosystem. So if you're staking Tia, Kuji, Corium, Adam, Osmo, whatever you're staking, pay attention to the opportunities that are happening in the ecosystem. There's also opportunities when you vote on governance proposals to get airdrops. So 
I posted about this. It's too late now, but if you vote it on prop number 702 on osmosis for sale DAO, then you qualify for an air, airdrop of sale tokens. So you also want to participate in governance. There's also a crazy story in Juno Network. The people that were early participants in voting on governance proposals in Juno Network received about either a ten to thirty thousand dollar, a ten to twenty thousand dollar airdrop in a token called Neta. And um, the people that voted on governance proposals received the biggest airdrop, which was worth the most. So sometimes, you know, and also stride tokens, a bunch of projects, uh, the atom fork, there's going to be an atom airdrop coming, a fork of atom, and depending how you, depending on how you vote it, you got bigger airdrop boosts. So you want to pay attention. So number four, all these are always in, in effect. So number four, you're always a pay, intent, paying attention to the updates because if you were paying attention, you would know to make sure to vote on this proposal. They gave everybody a heads up. They told everybody about it, uh, who was eligible, um, Osmo stakers, users who participated in Prop 702 governance proposals, qualify for the sale air sale airdrop. So um, there's also incentivized test nets. If you could help with incentivized test nets. Um, you could get airdrops. There is also different platforms. If you create a thread on a Cosmos project, you could get airdrops of tokens. So uh, there's also a lot of uh, participation airdrops, and most of them come from in incentivized test nets. So you could look out for uh, those opportunities that happen once in a while on Cosmos. Um, I participated in a test net called Umi Mania and received Umi tokens back in the day that was worth between 350 and 700 bucks. So uh, there's some awesome opportunities if you're looking to form airdrops in Cosmos. And now, like I said, the best thing they could do is take this link, go to your app in your Elite Wallet and bookmark this to your browser. So you always know when you check your Elite Wallet to also check for any airdrops that you may qualify for. So you could also see which ones are getting announced. So these have all been announced. So what you should do is basically um, read up on the qualifications on what you need to do to qualify for these announced airdrops. For example, um, this token, you just need to stake Kuji, these two tokens. If you're staking Kuji, it's all done for you. Just claim your airdrop when it's time. But then there's uh like there's airdrops like Pulsera. And Pulsera has a lot more information to it. There's a lot more that you have to be, you know, paying attention to to get the best airdrop. For example, the different qualifications, like you don't actually have to stake Corium to qualify for this airdrop. You just need to hold Corium. But one of the things that a lot of people are missing is there's gonna be four snapshots for Sara tokens for the wallets on Corium mainnet. And one of the things that a lot of people uh, need to be aware of is that between the wallets, if you want to qualify for, for all four Sarah snapshots, you need to make sure that you set your wallets up in a way that, um, so if your wallet decreases more than 10% in either Sarah or Corium token, so if you had 10,000 Corium, and between snapshot one and two, you sold 1,500 Corium more than 10%, you won't be eligible for the rest of the snapshots. So you may want to, and remember, I can't really give advice, but if you plan to sell tokens next year and uh, you're worried about selling 10% of your, of your bag between these snapshots, you might want to create another wallet. So these are the things that you have to be paying attention to. So there's going to be four snapshots. And if, you're, if you have 100,000 Corium, that means between these snapshots, for example, between July and October, if you sold 11,000 Corium tokens between these months, then you would basically, your wallet decreased more than 10%. And then you wouldn't be eligible for snapshot number four. So they're rewarding the most diamond hands in this situation. So you really got to go and go to this site and read the fine details of all these airdrops so that you know the ins and outs to make sure that if you are interested in receiving that, then uh, you know all the ins and outs, so you make sure that you qualify, et cetera.
All right, everyone. Well, basically, this is the basics to start claiming airdrops in Cosmos ecosystem. It's very, very simple. You basically just, um, you know, see if you're eligible for the for the airdrop. Then you connect your wallet, connect to the chain, and then claim your airdrop. And it's easy as that. And then you can decide if you would like to sell your airdrop, keep your airdrop, stake your airdrop, whatever it is. But uh, there should be plenty of plenty of more airdrops coming. So, you know, make sure to pay attention to all the opportunities in the Cosmos ecosystem if you are staking. So you get the most um, reward for uh, your assets. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, if you would like to join a um, interactive Discord server that keeps you up to date with all this, you know, go to my website in the link below. Go to my website in the link below. Join the Zen Lounge Collective. Go over to the videos. Uh, the, the video number one will teach you how to get onboarded into the Zen Lounge Discord channel. And um, yeah, as you can see that every airdrop has different eligibility criteria. These are Kuji airdrops. So you get these three airdrops for staking Kuji. Uh, the DYM, DYM airdrop I showed you guys is for Tia, Osmo, and Adam stakers. There's this ad. There's this airdrop coming up for Adam, Kujera, Osmosis, Injective. Injective is another big one for airdrops. Chihuahua, Stargaze. And you can't be staking with the centralized exchange validator. So if you're staking with the centralized exchange validator, that's important. And then there's also like certain validators that do airdrops. And you can pay attention to when the validator, if you're staking to their validator, they'll give you an airdrop. So there's a lot of stuff that happens with Cosmos airdrops. Here's an example. So uh, yeah, everybody, thank you for tuning in and uh, happy farming. Peace.